this is Miss Ware and Miss Philpot. Welcome to Thinking Thursday. Today we are going to make elephant toothpaste. Alright guys, so this is how our crystals came out. This one was the one done with the alum powder. The crystals are very long and awesome. As opposed to this one that was done with borax powder, the crystals are, sh are shorter, more boxy. And these were done with salt and they're really small. All right, hey scientists. So we have three vocabulary words today. Catalyst, a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction. Our next vocabulary word is reaction, a chemical change that is brought about by the action of one substance on another and results in a new substance being formed. And finally, exothermic, a chemical reaction where the substances reacting release energy as heat. All right, so as far as materials, you are going to need some yeast, which is going to be our catalyst. What I did was I put um, three tablespoons of hot water in with one packet of yeast. And this is another catalyst, because I'm going to do two. This one is potassium iodide. You dissolve these in the same amount of water. You need soap to catch the, the gas from the reaction. You need hydrogen peroxide. You need food coloring. I have green, red, and blue. And you need things to, to put all of it in. I'm using a graduating cylinder. And I'm also gonna use a beaker. Boom. So I'm going to add the hydrogen peroxide waste. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're going to put food coloring down the sides. Right on the sides? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, well, missed that one. <laughs> A little bit of blue. Oh, man. She <laughs> loopers. Okay, well. Right, right, get out of here, it's useless. <laughs> right, now for the soapy soap, ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right, now, our catalysts. Did you drop the... Oh, never mind, I'm good. <laughs> which catalyst went in which... Oh, sorry, that wasn't clear. The yeast went in this one. <laughs> and the potassium iodide went in that one. And the cool thing about potassium iodide is that if you raise the potassium concentration, like, what is this? Hydrogen peroxide concentration, it actually makes it like a really intense reaction with like lots of heat giving off, and it's really cool. If you did the same thing with the yeast, it's too hot for the, for the yeast, so it wouldn't do anything. Smells great. <laughs> it smells really gross, yeah. but it's pretty cool. Gross. It's if you great. do this, if you well, this is so big. I'm smelling a bunch of yeast. That smells gross. If you um, if you do this with the higher concentration and the potassium iodide, you want to want to do that outside and wear all protect the protection. Eyes. Yeah. Right. You want to protect your eyes and your hands and all that because it gets really really hot. So I'm gonna explain the science behind our experiment. 
Um, hydrogen peroxide has oxygen in it and the water as well has oxygen in it. So that's going to be our base, our base for our experiment. When we pour both of them in, we want to create an experiment or reaction where the oxygen will come out. To do that, we use our catalyst, which is going to be our substances in these two beakers. We use yeast and we use, um, oh, what was this called? Sodium iodide. Potassium iodide. Potassium iodide. We use potassium iodide and yeast. So we mix that in, our reaction starts to happen, and our oxygen wants to leave. And to show that the oxygen is leaving, we use the soap bubbles to show that. So what you're seeing here are soap bubbles mixed with all of the oxygen in our hydrogen peroxide and in our water. And that's how the science happened. So what I don't get, though, is why is it called elephant toothpaste? And I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so it's called elephant toothpaste because it looks like a huge tube of toothpaste being squeezed out. A number say an elephant. Ah! <laughs> See what I did there?